Hello, I'm here with Neelai, and she is one of the program managers on the Flutter team. And she also is the key person who is working on building up our Flutter community. Neelai, you have done an amazing job at building up the Flutter community all around the world. It's, I am seriously impressed. And I want to tell, ask uh, you a little bit more about how you got involved with that. I actually have a story about uh, how I started working with Flutter. So I was working with the developer communities in another team at Google. And then so with those communities, they are trying to learn about Google technologies. They are running meetups. They are asking some resources. And all of a sudden, the communities started asking about Flutter. Oh, are we, we need some speakers for Flutter. Can we get some resources for Flutter? And I was like, oh, what is that Flutter? I should look at that. Basically, the community attracted me about the Flutter. And I just looked into that and it was a great team. I'm so happy be being in this team. What all do you take into account to build a developer community? You got a little bit into that, but can you tell us more? Do you have any advice? And building community is not an easy job, but also it's not impossible. So it's all about bringing the right people together. So if you want to build a community around something, you just have to find the people that is going to uh, create the foundation of your community. They are the people who is sharing the same interests and shared values, and they are trying to do something with your technology. This will be the group of people they are going to set the tone of the community and the standards of the community. You work with the women tech makers, I believe. Can you tell us a little bit more about your involvement with them? I was running other community events for everyone and then when we are looking for speakers we got so many requests but very little, very less requests from the women. But when I did first women tech makers conference in Istanbul, I, I got like 50 women speaker submission. I was shocked. So why these women didn't submit for the other conference? And then I realized that these kind of initiatives, it is helping uh, women to feel more encouraged, more empowered. So they are participating. Agreed. Neil, I thank you so much for talking with me. This has been great.